Here we have another type of problem involving the sum and difference identities. In this case, we're being asked to find this quantity of uh, the cosine of angle alpha plus angle beta. And we've got values for the sine of alpha and the sine of beta that are ratios, that are fractions here. Well, using the sum and difference identities, it's clear that this one would apply. This is the sum uh, identity for cosine. So in that identity, to, to get the value here, we need the sine of the first angle and the sine of the second angle. We have uh, that, but we don't have the cosine of the first angle and the cosine of the second angle. So how are we going to get those two pieces? Well, I think the best way in this case is to draw a picture and uh, see if we can figure out what the ratios are of the cosines because we know the ratios of the sines. And just as a reminder, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's what we've got going on here. A cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So let's just draw in this first um, angle here, uh, angle alpha. It says it's the sine of angle alpha is negative 3 fifths with alpha in quadrant 4. So well, let me just draw some angle down here, uh, and then I'll, I'll just complete the triangle. OK. So let's say that's our, our angle. That's our triangle. We've got our right angle here. This would be the hypotenuse. And the opposite of the angle, which is here, actually the angle's here, but it's the same thing, um, would be uh, the opposite would be this side over here. And the fraction we're given is negative 3 fifths. So this is the negative 3 side, which has got a length of 3. And the hypotenuse is this side, which is 5. So we know that this side's going to be 4 from the Pythagorean theorem. You might know that 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean triple, have gotten it that way. Or you could have just used the Pythagorean theorem and cranked out that this was a 4. I took the shortcut there. So now what we know in this particular angle, alpha, we can find the cosine because this is our adjacent angle. This is the hypotenuse. So the cosine of alpha has to be 4 fifths. And in this case, it's a positive 4 fifths, right? Because the, um, the x coordinate is in the positive in quadrant 4. All right, let's do the same thing with this second angle. We've got an angle beta in quadrant run, one, so and it's got a ratio of 4 fifths. So I think that's going to look something like this. So you'd have still this hypotenuse with 5, and the opposite angle would be the 4 side, which would make this side the 3. So the adjacent side is 3. So for the cosine, you're going to have 3 fifths. All right, now from this little geometry, bit of geometry, we have all the pieces that we need to use this identity. The cosine of A is 4 fifths times the cosine of B, which is 3 fifths, minus the sine of A, which is negative 3 fifths, times the sine of B, which is 4 fifths. Let's do our multiplication. We get 12 20 fifths minus a negative, so that's a positive, and this is also 12 25ths. So our answer there is going to be 24 25ths. So that is the cosine of alpha plus beta 24 25ths. So that is another way to use the sum and difference identities.